All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Steam Tabletop Fest. We are showing off Oceans. Uh, I think this is the first time we showed the game publicly. Kind of excited about it. Uh, I'm Scott. Uh, I run the digital team here at North Star and then help design the uh, digital game. I'm here with Ben. Ben, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey, I'm um, Ben. I've been with North Star for several years now doing a mix of graphic design, art direction, and game design. And one of the designers of Oceans. Yes, 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 yes. One of the four. Yeah. For those of you that don't know, Ocean's a tabletop game in the Evolution line. Uh, it just came out this year. It was our biggest Kickstarter ever in North Star. It's pretty exciting for us. It's been getting really great reviews. We're excited for it. We're super stoked for the digital version to come out. Uh, all right, without further ado, let's jump in. I'm going to go ahead and go through the tutorial. Uh, for those of you that already know how to play, this will probably take about 20 minutes or so. You can go ahead and fast forward to when I'm going to take on... Benjamin head-to-head -head in a pass-and-play game. Uh, might be more exciting for you, but if you don't know how to play, we'll go ahead and dive into the tutorial first, teach you guys how to play, and then we'll go ahead and play afterwards. So, here we go. We got our little uh, tidbits in there. You see some of the gorgeous art. I think, is that the bioluminescent trait? right? Bioluminescence by Catherine Souza. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the art in here is just gorgeous. We got a boy Darwin over here in a scuba suit now. Welcome to Oceans. We're venturing into a vast world filled with known and unknown creatures. We'll get to the unknown. But basically, the uh, the core of the game is about adapting, trying to adapt a little bit better than your opponent is. Stay one step ahead. All right. So, with that, here we go. So we get, uh, oh, we're going first. As a first player, we get four bonus points. Of course, the object of the game is to get the most points. We get the most points by getting population. And we'll show you how to do that here in a minute. First thing we do on our turn, we always get to play one card. So we're going to go ahead and play a card. Our tutorial here is decided we're going to play this filter feeder card. It's a pretty groovy card. It, uh, it lets us go and eat a ton of food from the reef. That green circle at five means we can eat five at a time. So we'll go ahead, as soon as we play the card, it instantly makes a species that has that trait. And now we can go, and now after we play our card, we feed. So now we'll go feed, and our guy will go and gobble up five population. Each population is worth one point, so we just scored five points. Whoever gets the most points wins. Um, there is a catch, though. We don't necessarily score these points yet. At the end of every round, we each species ages one population, and that's basically when we score it. So right now we're going to go ahead and score it, and that population goes into our bag. You'll see that's important because you can steal population from other players. Uh, we're just going to skip this discarding phase for now. We'll tell you about that in a little bit. Now our opponent goes. What did he do? We can go ahead and take a look. He's got tentacled. Tentacle lets him feed an additional time. You always get his feed one species one time, but with Tentacle, he's going to be able to go twice. The bum. So green is your foraging ability. Red is your attack. Every species always gets one one, one green, and one attack by default. And that's what he's got right now. So he's going to go ahead and attack us. So he can attack us twice because he has Tentacled, and we just lost two population. Dang it all. So we've got to find some defense. Let's protect ourselves. So it says, hey, go find defense down here. We're going to go down here and take a look at schooling. Schooling says we can't be attacked if we have five population. It works beautifully with our filter feeder taking so many population at a time. So we're going to go ahead and put that on our filter feeder to protect him. And we go feed once again. Now we got five population and our guy is protected. Uh, you may have noticed we scored two points that time. That is because schooling, you see, increases our aging plus one. So now we age two per turn. So that's good. We score more points, but it puts a little pressure on us to stay ahead of in population and make sure this guy doesn't die. So now let's see what our opponent does with that now that we cut him off from attacking us. Oh, he plays the old symbiosis next to his tentacle. This is a great one. 
Let's go look at that. It gets one every time the species next to it forges or attacks. So now his tentacle gets to eat twice, and then his symbiotic gets to go twice. It's beautiful. For those evolution players with us, it's kind of like cooperation, except for it doesn't chain. That was a little bit overpowered in evolution. So <laughs> we had to fix that one. You guys tried making a chain, didn't you, Ben, originally? Tried making symbiosis chain, yeah. Yeah, like like in evolution. Yeah. It's just, it's yeah, it used to trigger off... Uh, the species getting population uh, through any source, so it was it was extremely strong. That's it. We just we tried to balance that. It's just it, it's a really cool makes cool chain effects, but we just found it really hard to uh, control its power that way. So maybe yeah, I mean, one hard thing about yeah, go ahead. balance in board games that video games is like a different sort of thing. Is in order to make it like a playable game we need to work exclusively with small integers. And so if we're like, oh, it's a little weak at two, but it's a little strong at three, we sort of have to bite the bullet on that and choose which way we want it to be um, a little weak or a little strong and try and compensate through other dials that we have access to. Yeah, that makes for... Definitely development of these types of games, we you know we don't have a casting cost or a cost to play these cards. It means every card has to be perfectly balanced with all the others. Yeah, I saw how many well, we have a casting played. cost later. Yeah, yeah, we're going to get to that part. That's exciting. Uh, all right, right now we're going to go ahead and make another species. We're going to make a whale cleaner. So once again, we just drag it to the plus, we make a new species. Um, now, one big catch with oceans is you can only feed each one species each turn, no matter how many species you have. The rest of them have to basically feed through synergies. So right now we're going to do that. We're going to synergy on our well cleaner. It says when a species with uh, three or more forage eats, it also gains. And so, as we can see, we just happen to have a species with three or more, our filter feeder over here. So we'll feed our filter feeder. And bam, our well cleaner gets three. So beautiful. Uh, we did have a little issue here. Our well cleaner has got taken its 10th population and overpopulated. But it's got a little unique ability that keeps it from overpopulating, which I can't pop out right now. So it, we don't have to lose any po any population back to the reef normally. We yeah, when you, when you overpopulate, that's whenever you fill that board to 10. You lose... Uh, you lose down to five population. So it, it's sometimes pretty brutal. Other times it's worth eating that cost, depending on what you're getting for causing that overpopulation. We'll show you more on overpopulation later. I think it, the tutorial makes you actually overpopulate. So three points. Two for our, our Plus one aging guy and one for our new species. Every species always ages once. We got three points, we got ten points. And it's our opponent's turn once again. Oh, he put a defense now on his tentacle species. Transparent. Can't be attacked as or leached as long as there's population in the reef. So he's blending in with all those other population in the reef. So he's got a nice dynamic card. As long as there's pop this is the reef right here. As long as there's a few fish left, he can't be attacked. If we can figure out how to get those fish out of there, then it becomes uh, visible and it's fair game. Oh, it also know. protects against leeching. Yeah. Which is really strong when you can get that defense. We'll show you how that uh, leeching works here in a little bit. Uh, so he attacked our poor exposed well cleaner over here. He can't attack our filter feeder because of uh, schooling, but he did take out our poor well cleaner. But one interesting thing here, you'll notice if you get evolution fans, you're like, why didn't that guy die? Um, in oceans, you don't die when you're out of population. You only die when you're unable to age at the end of your turn. So you can only die on your turn. It makes the game a little less brutal and, you know, kind of a little less take that. Because the guy survives, he can eat the next round. Um, so, that, you know, that's just one thing to kind of call out. So clearly we got to make sure we feed that guy or he's going to die. Uh, we're going to try a new card here, Bottom Feeder. What does this guy do? Gains two after the species to the right is attacked. I'm going to put him right here. And you guys are going to say, you're an idiot, there's no species to the right. Uh, in oceans, these all wrap around. So the, all the oceans are connected. So the guy to my right is actually across from me right here. That's that symbiotic right there. So I'm going to go ahead and, 
and attack that symbiotic and you guys will see what happens. We attack him, we take his population and then we gain two from that bottom feeder gaining two because we attacked out of the right. So gave him some population there and we got three points again at round end. Now we're going to discard some cards. So every round at the beginning you get to draw back up to six. At the end of the round you get rid of any cards you want, up to all of them if you so choose. We've already got a filter feeder, we don't really need any more. We're going to go ahead and get rid of both of those. And our opponent, oh, he's coming to leech us. I hate, I hate these dang leeches. He's got the parasitic. So this takes two of our population. It, you know, this is from the species to its left. And we are sitting right here on its left. So it's going to go ahead and take some from our... And crucially with Parasite, part of what makes it such a strong card is that it, it isn't that species feeding. So it's another way that you can get population into a species and still have your one feeding per turn yeah. available. It swings four populations. It's a big swing that just happens automatically. It's not an attack either, so all the defenses that prevent attack don't stop it either. So he went and took two from our poor well cleaner. Now we've dropped below the critical threshold of five we need to, to activate schooling, so we just deactivate our schooling. It gets worse. And now we can get attacked again. Twice by Mr. Tentacle up there. Ugh. And he gets three points because he has three species. All right, we got to slow down that parasite before it sucks us dry. So we will just play his own game back at him. We'll take our parasite and go and leech off of his parasite. So this will go, and as you see, we just took his one remaining population. And now we're going to get our filter feeder back above five so we can activate schooling. Bam. And we are in good shape. Oh, a little intermission here. This just shows the total game layout of what everything is and where it is. You know, our species. These are the population, the trade slots. Back down here is forward attack defense. Anytime you need to, you can come here and it'll kind of show you the layout. Over here on the right, these are the deep cards. And we'll, I think we're going to go into that right about now. How you like your little tutorial, Ben? <laughs> uh, I mean, it seems like it's doing a good job of introducing the main concepts. Getting there so far. It's a little bit verbose. You know, apologize for that, but we want to make sure you guys know how to play. Let's go into the deep. This is one of the most exciting parts of the game. So there's kind of two stages, two oceans. There is the reef which is, you know, the surface cards, I'm sorry, we use the right terminology, the surface cards, which are 10 cards, you can just play for free anytime you want, and then there's the deep, there are these super powerful cards, these ones do cost you to play, but there's some really cool things in here, and it allows us to add a ton of new cards and variety into the game, so you can play it 100 times and still have new content and new combinations to play. Uh, this was just an awesome addition, Ben, I love this. Yeah, big change from the core evolution system for you guys, um, yeah, there's some there's some cards in here you've, you've just seen the first time and you're like, holy crap, are you kidding? For example, look at this guy, Leviathan. He has an attack of five. He takes five population each time he attacks and may not be attacked. This guy's a monster. Uh, pretty strong. Surprisingly, they each, you know, they also have their drawbacks. Uh, as you'll see, he cannot forage. He must attack. That, that slash means no foraging, so he has to find somebody to attack. We're going to go ahead and take him. And we get a discard to end. We find any traits that aren't that useful. We get rid of transparency because the reef's about empty, so it's not a lot of value there. And it's our opponent's turn. He plays a well cleaner. Ooh, that jerk. He's trying to piggyback on our filter feeder. So how this works with well cleaners is the closest one on the right and left get the three bonus. Only two of them ever activate, not more than that. It's clear over here, but he's actually the closest one on our left, because as we go left and go around the table, that's the closest one. So it's still going to be able to piggyback on our filter feeder. Uh, I don't like that at all. we got to take that out. So notice that his parasitic does not get a leech because there's nothing to leech. Our parasitic aged last turn and has no population. It's a great way to kill off a parasite is just to leave yourself with no population at the end of the round. And uh, now he's in trouble. So your opponent went ahead. She fed her new well cleaner to keep it alive. You can't see it blocked there behind the thing. 
Um, but it means the parasitic now is going to age. It can't age, and so it goes extinct. All right, our turn. We got a big problem. We are out of food in the reef. You guys can see here it says zero. So we're only able to feed. The oceans, we can't feed directly from the oceans. Those are for gains. Only gains come from the oceans. So we got to get some more population in the reef. So we're going to show you something new here. It's called migration. So we're going to take this card. We'll use a symbiotic. You guys can see the top left. It's got that little fish that says nine. That means it's worth nine fish when we migrate it. So we drag it over here to the discard pile. And now we're going to migrate some fish from ocean one. Over here to the reef. Nine fish come over. And now we got some food to eat. Uh, that works both ways. You can drag fish between into the oceans, you know, between the reef, back over if you need to. You'll see in a little while why that becomes important to control and manipulate the population in the oceans. So they'll come into play here pretty quickly. But right now we got tons of food. We're gonna go gobble up again with our filter feeder. And we are sitting fat. Mr. Well Cleaner over here is taking his three every time. But our parasite now dies because our parasite couldn't go leech because he's now facing a transparent over here that blocks leeching. So we're blocked from leeching there. We lost our parasite, but we're doing sitting fat over here. Uh, let's go ahead and go take another deep card. Mm, both of these don't seem like they're particularly advantageous. So what we can do is we can go and draw from the deck. As soon as we hit the deck, we get to take a look at three more, but now we must take one. We don't get the option to pass anymore. So we gotta grab one of these. We're gonna take blubber. It lets us store nine. And now we age. And uh, we get our three points. Our opponent. Ooh, our opponent played another tentacled. Uh, you evolution players are saying, what the heck? It's cheating. In oceans, you can play multiple copies of the same trait if you want. So he these stack. So he can now feed three times instead of one every turn. So we'll witness that. He's gonna come and chomp on our poor exposed well cleaner and bottom feeder here. And he takes one from the reef. His symbiotic activates three times because of that. So he's sitting pretty good too. He's got a nice little ecosystem going there. Uh, we gotta go shut him down. We gotta go do an attack. Let's see here. We need to find a trait to attack with. A trait that adds attack and defense. Let's go take a look at our Apex Predator. So these symbols here, that green circle means he can't forage. That red diamond means he has three attack. That means he takes three population each turn. There's a new symbol here, the yellow circle. It means two defense. That means that an attacker has to have more than two attack to attack us back. So now we simultaneously will put defense and offense on our well cleaner here and now we're ready to go chow down so we'll go take three because we can from the symbiotic we can attack this guy over here the tentacle because he has that transparency still and we don't really need deep cover we've already got two plenty of deep cards there notice we can't discard deep cards so once you take a deep card you have to either play it or use it for migration and opponent's turn. All right, we're pretty safe now. He can't touch us. Let's see what he does. She's gonna go forward to eat up all the food in the reef. Oh, she got a lot of population. Now, the big thing just happened here. The first ocean got drained. Uh, what that means is the first ocean out. The Cambridge explosion happens. The Cambridge explosion. You. Uh, Biology nerds out there, it's biology, right? It's very branch. Yeah. <laughs> it was a time in the history of rapid evolution, and now a lot of things changed in the game. So we can play two trades per round. Every species ages two population. So with aging now, we're going to age three population. And we can now play deep guards, which is really cool. And the scenario in the first ocean becomes active. So uh, there's our pretty Cambrian explosion graphic. And now this scenario, abundance. So any trait with gains gets an extra gain. So like our well cleaner now bumped up to four, our bottom feeder bumped up to three. When they take, they get an extra. Uh, sweet, all right. So let's see. We can use one of our deep cards and we want to, but the problem is we're out of space. We only have three traits on this species. 
So we are going to make a little room. We're going to take this well cleaner and just throw it away. We're just showing you can discard traits. You can discard traits before you trade play anytime you want. Now we have space to play our Leviath on. Oh my gosh, we're going to make a monster here. It's going to be beautiful. Uh, now we need to pay for our deep card. We just played a deep card. Deep cards have a cost to them. It costs us two fish to play that Leviathan. So we have to choose where to discard to. We're going to throw Mogren Ocean 2. So that comes straight out of our points. We just lost two points to pay for that. But we're going to go get them back now that we have our Leviathan. Uh, we are also going to add a shark meter for our second card to our filter feeder here. That's just to make sure he stays above five population and can't be attacked. So now we can go and we can use this monster. He's got eight attack, as you see in red there, between the Apex Predator and the Leviathan. They stack. So we can go and take all of this guy's population. His transparency is deactivated because the reef is empty. We are going to go chomp down. Beautiful. Ah, uh, nuts. There's an overpopulation thing. We just hit our 10th population. As you can see, when we do that, we have to get 5 back. So it's still worth it. We took our opponent way down. We took a lot of his points away, but we have to give some back into the oceans. We don't want to put him back on the reef because that would activate his transparency. So we'll just put him over here in Ocean 2. And our Shark Cleaner takes 3. Shark Cleaners are kind of like well Cleaners. They may actually activate whenever a species with more than uh, 2 attack attacks. So, or three attacks, sorry. So he also gets gains. And we age five, I think. Yes. Two for this guy, two for this guy. Plus schooling means five points in the bag right there. All right, and right around, we're going to discard well cleaner because we don't have a filter feed. We're not really filter feeding anymore with the reef empty, so it's not really helping us. And we're good. All right, our opponent now, he can't attack us, so he's forced to use a card to migrate to eat. That's great. He has to spend one of his cards on migration. We want to avoid that if you can. And in so doing, you trigger the last round. You guys will notice all the oceans are empty. As soon as they all empty, that signals the end of the game. And he can go ahead and finish out his turn. We went first, so he gets to go last. All these reserve populations put in just to finish out the game. He's going to have to forge because he can't attack us. He's going to go ahead and do that. Oh, he played this monster filter, fe uh, filter feeder here that takes a big bite out of the reef. And his well cleaner now also gets to piggyback on that. All right, that's game end. Ooh, it's going to be tight. He scored a lot of points there at the end. But of course, this is a tutorial, so I have a pretty good feeling we're going to win. And we just pulled it out. Our population in play at the end of the game counts too. You'll see those population there. So we get to count those at game end. You know, and then these orange ones are all the ones that have aged. Um, I realize that's probably green from the fire hose and those that you follow in along. The game's a lot, once you kind of get the basics, it's a lot simpler than it sounds. Um, but that's, uh, that's it in a nutshell. We'll go ahead and start and play a game now, I think, between myself and Ben. Show you guys uh, how it works in practice. All right, we're gonna jump in. We're gonna play pass and play. We're actually playing pass and play over uh, Skype here. We're just playing through Chrome or remote desktop. And so uh, we're gonna see how well this works, but that way Ben can take control of my mouse and we can both play at the same time that we're not necessarily the same place. All right. I'll be player one, Ben, you're player two, and it looks like you get to go first. Oh, joy. I mean, easy choice here. Let's get, get a speedy boy out. He's like the all-purpose so card. He does a little bit of everything. real balanced. So yeah. right, a little bit of everything. I can sort of go any direction from here. It's like the jack of all trades. Yep, and I don't want a deep card. I don't want to gunk up my hand with those yet. And I'm going to discard uh, everything. <laughs> you know, there's only 10 possible cards, so that was like half of them right there, you realize. Yeah. Okay. Didn't have the ones I want. <laughs> All right, my turn. All right, let's see. So we'll open with a nice tentacle. It's a nice solid opening play. Let's your feet twice. 
We can go and take Ben's poor remaining population from. Sure can't. Oh. Speed has defense on it. Gosh dang it. Foiled. You're going to have to go eat some grass like a fool. This is pretty versatile. I can go forage from the reef. Gross, Not a problem. Not a problem. It's early. We don't want to deep car. It's still a while before the Cambrian explosion. Uh, I don't think we need all these shark cleaners and well cleaners. Uh, but ben might trigger one of those next round. We'll see. We'll save these for protection. We'll get rid of all those. All right, Ben, you're up. Mm-hmm. I think I'm just going to give him tentacles. Oh, tentacle speed. I'm going to grab one from you there. That is like the ultimate jack-of-all-trades right there. You are just like the complete non-specialized species. Two there. No deep. Right. Well, let's see. I'm kind of exposed this to old Benjamin picking on me. Do I care that much? Probably, because you'll take all my food if I go do a symbiotic right now, all right? We'll go ahead and put some defense out here, I guess. You know, I could just do the same thing back at you and go speed back at you. Oh, it doesn't get past your speed, though, does it? Yeah. Uh, all right, fine. Let's put some defense. Kind of boring. Play. And we go eat twice with our tentacled and get our lonely point. Get rid of all these. Like the symbiotics, they could come in handy. Back to Ben. All right, got a lot of fun stuff I could do here. Just do some symbiotic. It's kind of interesting. We're both following a similar strategy. Mm -hmm. your, your speed's giving me double though. I will take a deep card here, and I will also discard stuff. Alright, back to me. The parasitic, ah oh, shoot, it's going the wrong direction. I'd really like to take it from, uh, from your tentacle guy, but nevertheless, I feel like whenever you can use a parasite, it's worthwhile. Makes me happy. And we'll go and eat some from uh, still feel like you're jumping a gun on the deep card right now. Um, get rid of some of these. And call it good. All right. I'm going to flank my tentacle guy with oh. symbiotes. And just to make Scott mad, after I do this first feeding, I'm actually going to skip the second <laughs> feed. I want both my symbiotic guys <laughs> to end at zero. And also, if I fed again, I would overpopulate my middle guy. So it would be all in all a bad feeding. So I'm gonna skip it. Well played, sir. Well played. And I'm gonna be a little dumb and take a second deep card. I like that blubber. It's a good one. I like blubber a lot. Big into blubber. Yeah, it's been showing during your quarantine period. I was gonna say something. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. All right, I'm getting my butt kicked here. I got to figure out how to turn the tide a little bit. Uh, I could go on the attack. Yeah, that might be the play here, right? Go just chomp down. That gives you capacity to go eat a lot, but you can't eat a whole lot because there's not much left in the reef there. 
This guy's probably gonna die. Um, yeah, I think that's the play. I think we go on the attack. We'll go ahead and go Apex Predator and go take some population from Ben. Dude, just letting that parasite die? Yeah, I think so. Poor guy. I know. I was like, you know, I could put put a. Well, yeah, I need to play two cards. I'd have to put a. If I had a symbiote going the other way, I could do it. Yep. Yeah. Or if I could play yeah, a. You would have had to just two. feed with him. Mm hmm. You would have taken a pretty bad single round in order to save it. Uh, I was all excited I was going to take more from you. I don't think I did much damage there. Uh, yeah, you have an attack of three. So. With speed, you only take one from me per attack. Yeah, dang speed. Yeah, I'm still going to hold that on the deep. Could definitely use those shark cleaners now. Mm-hmm. Um, and... You don't want to discard a shark cleaner here, do you? Uh, I think I can play both of them. Okay. I like yeah, your, definitely. I like your optimism. One Just on each side. Symbiotic is still pretty valuable, too. All right, we'll call it good. All right. Okay. Well, three in there is not bad. Because I can still go in there and eat twice if I want. Or I could be extra fancy. So I'll do that. So I'm going to put a little bottom feeder. Pointed at my own symbiotic guy. Uh, my first feeding is going to be to the reef. And then my second feeding will be attacking my own symbiotic guy to trigger the bottom feeder. Nice move. You and that bottom feeder. That is your card, my friend. I am, I'm a big believer in the crab engine. Yeah. And I don't want any deep. I already have two. That's sort of already overextending my hand. The reason why you don't want to take a bunch of deep is because you have no way to get rid of them other than playing it to migrate or as a trait. So you don't have the same hand flexibility that you have with normal surface traits where you can just discard it if, if you don't think you're going to be able to use it. I am not getting absolutely pummeled out here. Alright. Well, we gotta get another species out, I think. No, I think I'd rather attack these guys. Just so your main guy there overpopulates. Oh, it's a deep time. It's getting close. The defensive spines is pretty. When nice. you draft a deep card, your options are either to take one of the two face up, or look at three from the top of the deck. Uh, but you do have to pick one. Yeah. So there's a chance none of them really fit your setup, and then you just have a card stuck in your hand. I think I'll do defensive spines. Use the uh, it's also very really nice for protection as legion. All right. Oh, we never got shark cleaners out there. Get rid of that stupid well cleaner. Uh, we don't really need parasites. I guess a shark cleaner is what we need, huh? Yeah, we'll call it good. And I think I'm gonna just squeak by this turn, not overpopulating. Uh, but I do need to decide. Let's see, this blubber. Okay, does not give an extra trait slot, so I don't want to give this guy another tentacled. Think about how I want to handle this. I could migrate to with my first card to start the Cambrian Explosion, and then that would allow me to make my second card a deep card. That's pretty tempting. 
So yeah, I'm going to migrate. So I just discard it here. I'm going to migrate from this first pool to the ocean, or, or from the ocean to the reef. And now also, all traits with gains gain one extra, which will help all my things survive now needing to age two. And what I'm going to do, this is going to lead to my guy overpopulating, but I actually don't care much about my attacker having population. It's more about making him able to feed my setup. So I'm going to give my symbiotic guy biotic cycle reversal. So if he's attacked down to zero, he gains four. And I will pay that to the reef. And now I still only get to feed one species. So my first one... Oh, nice. I oh, no, know. I'm still going to overpopulate. Left a little still going to overpopulate because this guy's going to get two. Yeah. But I'll still go for it. And then my second attack is at my biotic cycle reversal. Symbiotic oh, dude. Beautiful. Use it yourself. I thought you were going to He's going to go up to six actually here. Oh, nice. I thought you were going to throw some yeah. blubber on that guy. So uh, uh, I will put blubber, but probably not on my central feeder. Probably on this dude. Yeah. Or though, yeah, it's tough to attack him down to zero now. We'll see. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to put this back in there so that Scott gains less. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank and you for that. Nice. That would be... Um, I, uh, Not going double tentacle, huh? Tentacles. Yeah, right. you got a lot of tentacle with all that symbiotic action going on. Yeah, although with abundance, you have to be worried about all those dudes getting so much population that they just uh, overpopulate. All right, trying to get my shark clingers out there. Go catch up with Ben a little bit on our species count. All right. I don't want to help him get down to zero. This guy, yeah, I don't want to help him populate too much. Can't really attack that guy because he's got the bottom finger protecting him. I think we want to take this guy down. Right. And abundance is back. And we can go and pick on should we pick on the bottom feeder? Yeah, let's keep the pressure on. Alright, that looks a little better. This is a fun scenario we just activated. The solar radiation. Any species without a deep trait loses one to the reef. You saw I just lost three population right there due to that. So that kind of increases the value of deep cards. We got a grazer. Takes two from the reef. Grazer is strong with that trait because that trait keeps filling the reef. Uh, which trait? Oh, grazer. yeah, the solar radiation. Good point. Yeah, so scenario. Grazer is an extremely good trait. Oh, I was going to pass on Solar radiation is out. It, ben. Thank you. Thank you, You're right. very welcome. Yeah, appreciate that. We got all these speeds out here. We'll keep one. We might need that. Uh, inking for defense. Are we worried about defense? Yeah, maybe a little bit. All right, we'll call that good. Take turn. Take turn. Very caveman. <laughs> it's very direct. All right. So I actually have a slight problem of with solar radiation, or sorry, with abundance. I can't reduce this guy to zero because <laughs> he can't do every time I attack him. I've never used that biotic cycle reversal. That's what it's all about. I'm, huh? I, so Cannibalism. As a crab engine aficionado, mm. I use uh, I use it a lot. So I'm gonna put uh, another crab pointed at my crab. Ooh, and then interesting. I am going 
to make this guy tentacled again. You know, I'm glad you're showing me how to use the crab. I, I don't have enough love for it. To be Actually, honest. I'm going to use this undo button. I don't use it a lot. With this undo button, I need to change the order I play things. Oh, I'm, glad, um, I'm really glad that undo worked. We had there. a lot of issues with that in, uh, in our QA test. I actually so want to get rid of speed. Hmm. I don't, because clearly with a crab setup, I'm mostly attacking myself. So I don't want to be hitting myself harder. Ben, you are testing right, so the limits of our code right now. We had a lot of problems with both those behaviors and okay. testing. I'm so my first hoping the game attack holds is there. up. Ooh, nice. And then my second attack is there. You didn't want to double up your bottom feeders? Nope. Uh, they gain with abundance out. It would gain six, they which too is much. Mm -hmm. I can't even attack twice. So I'd rather spread them out. Dude, you have a and beautiful attack. We'll be at uh, this guy here. Oh, uh, that's a really nice engine. Perfect. Oh, how do I disrupt that? I don't know. It's hard to disrupt the tentacle now got symbiosis. The defensive spines in your hand feeling dumb because I'm only attacking me. Because you're just over there eating yourself like a eating fool. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. I don't want either of those beef cards. I'm going to discard everything I have. At this point, really all I want is parasite and crabs. Hmm. All right. How do we stop you? I gotta try to out earn you. Um, Even if um, the biotic psycho reversal hasn't been triggering, just having it gives you the kickstart that lets the crab engine start. Yeah. Well, and you made it so that it's tough for me to attack that that same yeah, species. Yeah, I mean, basically, you can, hit, crab. you can hit my static dude on mm. my on the far left, but everything else, I like if I'm attacking myself on my own turn. What are the odds that you attacking me is good? Yeah, I think I gotta go after Symbiotic. Mm -hmm. uh, I just gotta figure out how I can out earn you. What does this my grazer do? I mean, that's, that's just that's just fantastic. A guy you can have out cleaning yeah. up. Yeah. All right. You know what? I'm on the inside or outside? I do not want. Let's put him right here. Yeah, I figure I'm gonna leave on the outside for those parasites. Uh, let's go deactivate that solar radiation for right I mean, now. it's gonna reactivate yeah, by the time just, aging happens. I guess we can put defensive spines just to. If you really want to watch the animation of it being reactivated again. I don't know if I want to keep this. I don't think there's anything else I can use here. I guess I could just put defense up. Uh. I guess if we're going to put defense, we might as well go with defensive spines. We can do speed, but I don't think I need to take anymore. Yeah, we'll just do that. And we'll put it over here just to stop you from reaching us. Keep your parasites away. You bum. And we get another population on top of solar radiation. Well, no, maybe <laughs> now. <laughs> All right. As long as you meet with something that doesn't gain. So we gotta attack guys that are not next to those bottom feeders. Remember, next to a bottom feeder, if I attack it, he gets two extra. So I can't go after these bottom feeders. So I'm gonna go attack over here. All right. And we reactivated that scenario. Here we go again. Let's go and attack these tentacles. I think that's my only safe attack. We go take those out. Everything else should activate. Ooh. Boom! I lost my main guy. Ugh. And we gotta take a deep card. 
and we'll try to figure out why he lost population back to the reef after each attack. Yeah, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't ready for that either. There's, it's not the grazer, it's not the grazer? It's not the grazer doing that, right? Might have been a, a defensive spines bug. I think we just uh, found a bug with grazer defensive spines. Yeah, it took. It actually looked like a really. You code games so that they cheat so that I lose. This is a different. I know. You would think that if I was going to do it, I would flip that switch on you, be a little smarter about it. I think I just got screwed by the. Uh, I, believe, I believe that's the case. Yeah, there's a reason we haven't released this yet, guys. It's still in. Uh, <laughs> it's still in quality assurance testing. Uh, we're working on I feel like what teams. happened there is you felt like you were going to lose. So you <laughs> put in a thing to get a bug to happen so you could invalidate the whole game. Usually I just have it freeze up and I didn't need to do that. Yeah, that was a little yeah. different this time. Uh, all right. Well, that was that was pretty brutal. We just got rocked there. Let's go take a look at our deep cards that we have out here. And, and the game is basically going to end um, on my turn because exactly. there's only two left in the... Oh, yeah, good uh, point. The, uh, last ocean. Gentle giant may not be attacked. Let's just go look at some new deep cards for fun. Yeah, may as well look at some new ones. Ooh, I like this neurotoxin. It's pretty brutal. This is a nice one too. After each species forged, with you attacking yourself, I think the best I can do is have a little neurotoxin and spread a little poison to you. It'd be screwed if you could put neurotoxin on one of my species. Yeah, that would be that'd be strong. <laughs> there are some. There is one. Aren't there some deep, deep traits you can do that? Yeah, but there is one deep trait that you play on an opponent's species. I remember that one. I remember seeing that one. Cthulhu Leech. All right. Well, this is my last turn here. So I don't really have two good cards. Two good cards to play, unfortunately. Uh, but I'll blubber this guy for sure. Oh, yeah. Store some extra food. Uh, and then with this last trade, am I worried about something else overpopulated? I don't think so. I, I guess just in case I've done my math wrong, I'll put a filter feeder on that guy so that I don't risk overpopulation. That one stops overpopulation around me, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see your little oh, system. Oh, no. We're going to undo that. I forgot that Blubber has one defense. Oh. Which means this guy's back to being speedy. <laughs> now okay. put the Blubber there. <laughs> Love that undo button. All right. So. And one of my crabs might go extinct here, but it, it actually doesn't matter because all that matters is how much food I cleaned up total. Um, so I don't really care about stuff going extinct since the game is over. Um, all right, so I've, oh, I need you to, all right, there we go. Let's see. All right, so then I'm attacking my other crab. That's a beautiful little engine you got going over there, Benjamin yeah. David. And everything is actually going to live here. Not that it matters too much. Yeah, I am also losing uh, population to the <laughs> reef with that. I think back. it's actually solar radiation triggering it. I remember there's a bug with solar radiation. I think that's what's going on here. Well, that means it counts since we're both having to deal with it. Uh, my guy died. Come on. My guy's <laughs> going to die too. <laughs> okay, hopefully let's see if it takes it away at the end of each feeding. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, my main, my core of my engine died. Yeah, but you're done now, so you're okay. Yeah. Oh, I got one more turn. Nope. Nope. Oh yeah, we'll pass oh. like this. Oh, that was a whooping. <laughs> that, was a, that was totally because the bug. That was just that. That's all. I had you. I had you. I had you in my grips. <laughs> nice and I see people on the board game geek all the time. Saying you can't build, you can't beat um, filter feeders, and to that I say, the Almighty Crab Engine. 
That was beautiful. I, I was actually happy to see that. I've never really used the uh, the crab that much. That, that's why that bottom feeder is so strong, huh? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Good to see. Well, uh, you know, I graciously let Ben film me for the purpose of this stream. He's a developer. You know, he designed the game, so show you. Uh, it would, yeah, it would look yeah. real bad if I lost. <laughs> that is Oceans, you all. Uh, thank you for joining us, everyone. I hope that was, uh, you know, fun to see. Um, this game is still in development. It's not released right now. We are going to go into a closed beta here pretty soon. Uh, if you want to get in that closed beta, you need to join us in Discord. You can go to the Oceans Board Game Discord and uh, find us there. Go to the Oceans website, oceansdigitalgame.com, and I'll have information on uh, basically just how to sign up our email list to let you know when the game comes out or how to get into the closed beta. Both those things should be happening uh, pretty soon. Clearly, we have a little bit more QA testing to do before we're ready for that, but I think we're getting pretty close. The, uh, the AI, too, is, is learning at a nice pace right now and getting better, which is kind of fun uh, to see it getting harder and harder each, each revision. Um, I think that's uh, that's about it. Anything else about the game you need to share, Ben? Anything we forgot? Um, well, I, I guess we only got to show off a few of the deep cards that's true. in this game. Uh, I don't know how many are going to be in the, in the uh, digital game on release. It's going to have but 20, are, so on release you'll have 20 deep cards initially, and then we'll continue to, to develop additional deep packs. Yeah. Yeah. And then in the cool. board game, with all of the, like, ex, uh, sort of like expansion-y and promo stuff, there are over 100 deep card. So, so there will be plenty of time, uh, or plenty of room for more cards to be added over time. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, thanks, oh, all. Thanks for joining us. That. Yeah, that was fun. Fun for Ben, anyway. Yeah. Great fun. <laughs> I'm just here to, like, proselytize about the crab engine. You uh, you did it well there. That was, that was a poster child. It's like we, we planned that in advance or something. It, uh, it was tough because I only ever got crabs with a arrow in one direction. Ideally, I have a crab with two crabs pointing at it. And then I primarily attack the center crab. You know, I, I've been harping on Dom, the Bob Fears under, uh, underpowered. It, it doesn't get used that much. It was really nice to actually see an example of how to use it. Yeah, that was good. I'm gonna have to put it more into the, uh, the repertoire now. Thanks, Ben. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, was, that was well played, that was strong. All right, well, thanks, everyone, for watching. Thanks a lot. Have fun. Have fun at the Dave Pop Fest. And uh, we're in the chat. We'll stay in the chat. Come and uh, ask us any questions or uh, come over to the Discord. We're there, and you can ask any questions there. Thanks a lot, all. Take care.